The supply and demand zones indicator is available for various platforms on the Trading Finder website. From this section, you can download the indicator file for MetaTrader 4 and MetaTrader 5 platforms and apply it to the chart. Also, traders can refer to this page to learn how the indicator works. From the Navigator section, we select the indicator file and activate the indicator by dragging the file onto the chart. Just make sure to check the Allow DLL Imports option in the Comments section and then click the OK button. As the indicator is implemented on the chart, it begins to identify common ranges. It marks supply in red and demand in green on the price chart. The Supply and Demand Zones Indicator is a special and practical tool for traders who are looking to identify supply and demand zones on the price charts. This indicator also displays ranges. The crowned and tested spreadsheet defines the ranges to make the fresh ranges more visible to traders. For example, in this section, a demand area is marked in bold green, which is a cutte and has not yet been crowned. But in the lower section, there is a crowned demand area, which is marked in pale green. After identifying this zone, the price moved upward and, upon returning to the demand zone, we can see that it tested this zone and then moved upward again. In the settings section, in the input section, there are options for us. In the first section, you can enable or disable the display of support and resistance limits. In the next section, you can enable or disable the display of crowned and uncrowned boundaries. In the next section, you can select the number of zones you want to identify and display. If you set it to zero, it will identify and display all zones. And if you enter a specific number, it will only identify or woe the selected number of supply and demand zones. In the next section, you can enable the SUS, highlighting of overlapping zones, and if you set in that, disable this option, the PAR highlighting will not or one occur. In the following sections, you can change the colors of the untested support zones, so untested resistance zones, tested support zones and tested resistance zone, zones to your preferred colors. In the next section, you can enable or disable the first market cycle, which is disabled by default. In the next section, you can enable or disable the second market cycle, which is enabled by default. At the end, you can also choose the colors for the first and second cycles. Here I only activate the resistance levels and I will currently disable the tested zones here. I specifically select two particular zones and also activate the second market cycle. I set the color of the second cycle to blue and the first cycle to red and then I carefully click on Apply. Now, only two zones have been successfully identified for us. Two zones have been identified. In this section, you can see the zones. Our first cycle, which is the smallest price movement, is marked in blue, and our second cycle, which is the largest price movement, is marked in red. Traders can use these cycles to identify the continuation of trends, whether the price is moving towards a bullish or bearish direction, and to have more specialized analyses based on the cycles and price zones. Well, friends, We've reached the end of this indicator's tutorial. We would be happy if you share your comments and suggestions with us in the comments section.